to express average rate of reaction. After time T1, we have concentration of products equal to P1 and that of reactant equals to R1. After time T2, we have concentration of product equals to P2 and that of reactant equals to R2. Now average rate of reaction is equals to P2 minus P1 upon T2 minus T1 or R2 minus R1 upon T2 minus T1. Note that average rate of a reaction is calculated for considerable time gap T and not dt. Let us now express instantaneous rate of reaction. Suppose at time t we have concentration of product equals to P and that of reactant equals to R. After time t plus dt we have concentration of product equals to P plus gp and that of reactant equals to R minus gr. Since dt is a very small interval of time. Instantaneous rate of reaction is equals to P plus GP minus P upon DT or minus of R minus TR minus R upon DT which is equals to DP by DT or DR by DT. Instantaneous rate of reaction is calculated for a small time interval dt. We will now understand how to calculate rate of reaction at time t. Calculation of average rate of reaction from graph of reactant versus time. Let us now consider graph of concentration of reactant versus time. Take any instant say time t1. At instant t1 amount of reactant is R1. Take another instant say time T2. At instant T2 amount of reactant is R2. Therefore average rate of reaction is equals to R2 minus R1 upon T2 minus T1. We will now understand how to calculate instantaneous rate of reaction? Let us consider graph of concentration of reactant versus time. Take any instant T. At instant T, amount of reactant is R. Draw a tangent at point T, R. At instant T, slope of tangent equals to dr by dt which is equals to instantaneous rate of reaction. Graph of concentration of products versus time. Here R instantaneous equals to instantaneous rate of a reaction and R average equals to average rate of a reaction. Since R instantaneous equals to dp by dt, which is slope of tangent at instant t, whereas R average equals to minus of del p by del t, which is equals to c2 minus c1 upon t2 minus t1. Graph of concentration 